What would you do if you were on vacation and saw someone you buried four years ago? Would you follow them? Well, this elderly woman did. Maria Smith was having a good time with her grandkids on the beach. However, their vacation came to an abrupt end when she saw her daughter and son-in-law, Lisa and Robert, who had died four years ago. How could the dead be walking among the living? Did they abandon their daughters Betty and Amy for her to look after? These were the questions running through her mind, so she decided to follow them. But first, let me tell you how Betty and Amy lost their parents. Two years ago, Lisa dropped her girls at her mother's place to go on a camping trip with her partner. However, the couple had an accident on their way back home. According to the police report, Robert was driving above the speed limit when he lost control of the car and drove off the bridge into the river. The current there was so strong that they couldn't find the husband or wife's body. Maria could do nothing but accept that Lisa and Robert were gone. Ever since they lost their parents, the girls have been going through a difficult time. So Maria saved money for several months so that they could all use this trip to take their minds off the tragedy. While they were on the plane, the little girls kept looking out of the window, hoping they would catch a glimpse of the stunning ocean. Maria smiled as she watched them. Then she tried to get some sleep. After they arrived in San Diego, the girls finally saw the ocean they had long waited to see, and they couldn't hide their joy. Their grandmother had to work extra hard to keep them safe. Hold on, girls. Don't even think about going anywhere close to the water without having your life jackets on, she said while laughing hard. All through their stay at the beachside in San Diego, Maria made sure the girls didn't get too far into the water. One day, she was reading a novel when she noticed that one of the girls, Amy, was standing close to her. She didn't understand why the little girl looked very sad. What is wrong, my little angel? Are you tired of swimming? She said. The little girl said, Grandma, I think I just saw Dad and Mom on the beach. They were standing at the side of a snack booth, holding hands and laughing. Don't they love us anymore? I think they are alive and just abandoned us. Maria was shocked at the girl's words. Lisa and Robert had passed on some years back, so she told the girls that she must have made a mistake. However, Amy, who was usually calm, became very agitated. She was sure it was her parents she saw some minutes back. Maria asked her to take her to where she saw the strange couple. She believed Amy was wrong, but when she finally saw Lisa and a man who looked exactly like Robert, she almost passed out. It took her some minutes before she agreed that her eyes weren't deceiving her. Then the tears came streaming down her face. She had been mourning them for years now, unaware that they were alive. However, she noticed that even though the man holding her daughter's hand looked like Robert, he had a slightly different physique. Just then, Lisa and her partner got their snacks and headed straight for the city. The elderly woman, who was still in shock, decided to follow them. She held her two granddaughters tightly as they walked behind them. Thankfully, they weren't aware of their presence. Suddenly, the duo entered a luxurious house. How did they get such a huge house, she thought. Knowing that she couldn't figure this out herself, she called the police. But Maria never knew she was in for a shocking revelation. Thankfully, the officers arrived on time. They got into the house and began asking the couple some questions. However, they refused to cooperate with the officers and had to be detained. It was when they got to the police station that the man who was with Lisa made a shocking confession. Guess what? It turned out that he was Robert's twin brother, Ryan. Ryan Edward was quite different from his twin, who was smart and honest. He was a cunning and controlling man who often got into trouble. After high school, he and his brother went to different universities. This was because his parents didn't want him to have a negative influence on his brother. Although they tried their best to help Ryan turn his life around, they realized it was too late and separated him from his twin instead. Robert got a good job after graduating from the university, while his brother got embedded into a life of crime and was sentenced to prison for a robbery case. His sentence was also extended because he committed another crime while in prison. By the time he was out of jail, his twin had a wife and two beautiful girls. But that was not all. Sadly, his parents had also passed on. Realizing that he was all alone and had nowhere to go, he contacted his brother. A week later, he was finally in his brother's home in Texas. Robert was very excited to see his brother. However, he never knew that his twin had other intentions in mind. 
Ryan wanted to have everything his brother had. To carry out his plan, he needed to seduce his brother's wife, and that wasn't as hard as he expected it to be. Lisa was already impressed with his broad shoulders, deep voice, and commanding presence. She never loved her husband. Instead, she always thought he was weak and timid. The young woman just married him because he was clever and rich. Twelve weeks after Ryan arrived in Texas, he and Lisa began an affair, and this was what led to the terrible crime they committed. Are you willing to go all the way with me, Lisa? I think I found a way that we can be together, just me and you, and we wouldn't have to worry about Robert or the girls. Ryan asked, cuddling his brother's wife. Yes, darling, I am more than willing to go to the ends of the earth with you, Lisa replied. The experienced criminal mapped out a perfect plan to get rid of his brother and acquire his money. At first, he convinced Lisa to withdraw all the money from his brother's account. Then he persuaded him to go on a camping trip far from the city. Robert agreed to go only if he could take Lisa with him. Lisa dropped the twins off at Maria's place, but didn't tell her Ryan was going on vacation with them. During their journey, Lisa added sleeping pills to his tea. After some time, he blacked out and Ryan took his unconscious body straight to his car and orchestrated the accident. The ex-convict knew the current of the water near the bridge was very strong, which would make it difficult for his body to be found. Having taken all of his brother's money, he and Lisa moved down to San Diego. The duo bought a house on the coast of the city and lived a lavish life. However, they never imagined that their bad deeds would come back to haunt them. Five months after Lisa and Ryan were arrested, she was back in Texas with her granddaughters. Then, one day, she heard a knock on her door. When she opened the door, she saw a familiar face that made her slam the door almost immediately. This is Robert, not Ryan. Please open the door. I need to talk to you. I have enough proof to show you, but you can also call the police for confirmation. Truly, it was Robert. But how did he survive? After the water carried him from the scene where his twin staged the accident, he was found by some fishermen who saved him. He was in a coma for several months and couldn't remember anything when he woke up. So he lived with the fishermen and started a new life. Robert didn't regain his memory until he saw the arrest of Lisa and his twin on a local TV station. Seeing their pictures made him remember what they did to him. He explained his story to one of the fishermen who drove him to Maria's house. Robert apologized to Betty and Amy for not being around all these years. Fortunately, he was able to get back some of the things that Lisa and Ryan took from him and used the money to take care of Maria and his daughters. What have you learned from this story? Share your thoughts with me in the comments. Till next time, stay safe.